What's it been like for you guys to step into this world created by Guillermo del Toro? Well, that was when I uh, well, it was first um, asked uh, uh, about the series, and uh, that was, there, were, there were the three magic words, Guillermo del Toro, and thought, well, you'd be uh, as an actor, you, 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 you'd want to work with this guy because I, um, I think the first film I ever saw of his was, of course, Pan's Labyrinth, and which remains one of my favourite films of all time, and someone with that kind of imagination and knowing what he would be able to do with this you know it was like it was a no-brainer yeah, yeah. but for me it's like you, you remember the, the first time you went to Disneyland you were in a kind of world you couldn't believe it exists and you believed in it and then we become adult you lose this sense of, 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 of truthfulness now with Guillermo I got it back I, I arrived in Toronto and I thought I had to kick ass and to work a lot to make, to make exist the world, to build up a world. But when I arrived, this world already exist, existed. So I just had to jump on the boat and sail with him, you know. And the strength with him is that he actually, absolutely does everything you, which needs to be done to make this fantasy world exist in a very, very truthful and believable and profound way. And that's su such an honor and an invitation just to, to go in in the midst of it and be part of it, be one of the lead, leading characters. It's like Christmas, all day Christmas, <laughs> every week. <laughs> what do you think it is about vampires that have stood the test of time? Oh, David said it just in an interview quite uh, appropriately, uh, uh, the pact with blood, uh, the fact that with blood you might buy something you seek in life but which you can't get it means eternal life it's uh, an, uh, more than human strength or wisdom it's uh, let's say the resolution of the secret of life but it's a pact with the devil that's basically it yeah and um, I suppose it's something that Many people ponder over about what, what is what is the cost and would it be worth it, um, you know. And uh, that's something that goes from uh, from Goethe's Faust to Christopher Marlowe's Doctor Faustus, and it's something that captures the imagination of people, the, the, the thought that, that, that this is uh, possible. So. I think but not not to forget that that anyhow I mean people go into cinema they pay for it to to be entertained and entertained either to laugh or to cry or to be frightened and I think this vampire thing is nothing else that a personification of our dark side look look if you look at a, at it as a whole unique character this whole strain thing and if you put all the layers one over the other and if all of those characters would become a single character, you have the complexity of a human being. So the dark side, the vampirism, is nothing else than the personification of the very, very dark side of, a, of, of us all.